There we go. Hey, everybody. Now you're good, Maureen. It's Friday night, <laughs> and we are back. The fabulous ASEA 5. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and we're coming to you live on Zoom, where we love to share our Friday nights with you. I'm Dr. Maureen Hayes from Galveston, Texas, and I am joined by Ann and Jim Glenn. Ann is our beautiful nutritionist and personal trainer, and Jim is our big money man. And of course, we have Dr. Lee Osler. He is a dentist extraordinaire from Washington State and the author of Redox Matters and now Healthy Matters, both books of which you can get at Amazon or at redoxmatters.com. Fantastic. And tonight we have a very special guest, someone who is a fan favor all the way from Phuket, Thailand, Dr. Ray Dixon, who is a naturopath, a chiropractor, has a whole list of degrees. And if you don't mind, Lee, come on here and share a little bit more information about Dr. Ray. So thank you so much for joining us. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a CF5. We have, as uh, Maureen said, a fan favorite, certainly a personal favorite of mine. He's become a good, close personal friend. We were chatting and sending messengers back and forth uh, all the time. And he's, he's been so gracious to me and helping proof uh, some of the writing that we've done and, and perfect that message. And so Dr. Ray is a, uh, is a chiropractor, a naturopath, and uh, he spent 40 years in Melbourne, Australia, practicing. And then he uh, retired, I guess we would say semi-retired because he, he wound up in Thailand and is uh, put his... Uh, shingle back up and is helping people there in Thailand, at least part-time, because as I understand it, of the amazing um, redox in, uh, discovery that he made <laughs> right behind him, and he's helping there uh, in Thailand to help people. Uh, so, hey, Ray, this was such a pleasure to have you on. Your your brain uh, is so bright, and and uh, we, we can see the, the light reflecting off your, your forehead right there, because that's the redox shine. <laughs> from his brain cells. He's just an incredibly gifted communicator about what we have. And we look forward to him um, sharing with us his wisdom tonight. So Dr. Ray, you know, maybe you could come on and just begin by uh, those who may not know you, uh, introduce yourself to us and, and maybe give us a little background of, you know, the, the journey that you've gone through and then and then your discovery of, of uh, all things redox, you know, why, why you're with us. <clears throat> Absolutely. <clears throat> thank you, everyone. And thank you once again, Jim and Maureen and <clears throat> Dr. Lee for having me. Um, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy watching you every week, of course. Um, share it with the team and we all love it to bits. So thank you very much. And you're very kind, Lee, talking about our interactions. We certainly have. I hope we get to talk about your latest book. Um, being one of the fortunate ones to have reviewed it. <laughs> so... Look, my journey is an interesting one. When I was 18 years of age, I was an asthmatic. Um, had no idea what I wanted to do in life at 18. I'd finished uh, secondary high school, had no idea which way I was going to go. I was a little bit of a, what I used to call a tail end hippie. <laughs> I had, I was a bit late for that generation, but I, I had hair down to my backside. Um, decided to do some yoga. So I read about yoga and the benefits of it. And back in those days in Australia, that was secret women's business. I mean, I mean, seriously, uh, women went to lose weight. That was it. And I kid you not. And so I'd heard about the benefits of yoga out of India and found there was a local yoga school, which happened to be in Croydon, which is where I practiced for the rest of my life in, in Australia. And the yoga teacher was just fantastic. Uh, the yoga did great for my lungs, pranayam, breathing exercises. Her husband was a naturopath and a chiropractor. So she said, look, why don't you get some treatment with my husband? Because he'll take care of that one condition you have personally the, with the asthma. So I did, and I've never had it to this day. So I'm 66 now. I was 18 then. So I think we can conclude that's in medical parlance, even reluctantly called the cure. <laughs> so that was my personal journey uh, into the world of natural healing and natural medicine. I was just totally enthralled. It was an amazing, almost one of those synchronicity, what Carl Gustav Jung used to say about situations in life that are forever life-changing, because I was literally in college the very next year 
graduated three years later as an osteopath, a year later as a naturopath. Political times in Victoria for registration purposes of osteopaths, chiropractors. I ended up going to RMIT University, it's called now, to become a chiropractor for registration purposes. It was a little difficult politically. So I did that um, and practiced, though, from 1978. In fact, my handful of first patients were 77, but from 78, I saw a lot more. But I was still studying. So I worked with those very people around my studies. They were gracious enough to be adaptable and encouraging me all the way. And then I worked with them for the next 40 plus years. Um, George, uh, Dr. George passed at the age of 92, early COVID. I was lucky enough just to see him before I was in Australia, before the lockdowns. Thank God I got out back to Phuket. Um, so I just spent the rest of my life uh, to date. Um, well, I'll come up to the latest episode shortly, but herbal medicine, Western herbal medicine, uh, particularly um, nutrition supplements, typical naturopathic work, which is nutrition and, and, and herbal medicine, botanical medicine. And I did homeopathy as well. So I had a lot of homeopathic uh, uh, medicines, if you like, in the clinic and just work with whatever work I deemed was natural that would help people on their health journey and had a great career, just an amazingly busy career. I was booked out, my partner was booked out. We just, uh, and you know, did a lot of musculoskeletal work as well, not dry needling acupuncture. It all just came together over the time, over the years. And then I, as, as Dr. Lee said, I was basically, um, I'd been to Thailand a few times for holidays and bought an apartment and uh, met a lady who I'm now married to, one, shall we, one? And I thought, look, I think I've, I'm a bit over the 12-hour days, <laughs> you know, appointment after appointment and, and no time, you know, no time to, you know, two-week holiday grabs every six months. That was all I could ever get away. Uh, and I thought, look, after 40 years, I've had a, a, enough of this and saw other changes in Australia, which have become increasingly more evident in the lockdowns. And I thought, I want to get out of here. Uh, I never would have thought that years ago, but I thought I've had enough. I need to leave. And I'd found a new home, you might call it, Thailand. And then my wife. So I um, up stumps and moved to live in Phuket, Thailand, which is exactly where I am now. Um, I've been, and that brings us to this latest stage, if you like, with the redox. I, uh, Lorraine Bavard from Australia, a world karate champion, was a patient of mine and a good friend of mine. And she'd mentioned the ASEA to me um, probably six, six to seven years ago now. And I really didn't pay much attention. I think this is a common problem. I'd never heard of redox signaling molecules. Figured I knew everything, as practitioners sometimes are guilty of. And uh, had a nice lunch, went back to work and didn't give it another thought. Uh, Lorraine still saw me occasionally to do some musculoskeletal work. And, and uh, two years later is when I was coming to live in, in Thailand. And Lorraine, a year after that, I came in 2017 to live here in July. A year later, 2018 in July, Maureen, still being a good friend of mine, came for a holiday with her two daughters, her lovely daughters, and we, we had a great time. And I had a lot more time to, to look at this. And uh, she said, look, I think you should take another look because there's something really happening here and you don't know about it. So I thought, fair enough. So I did. And I was moving between the testimonial sites on healthy self, uh, the redox doc, you know, uh, redox experiences and um, real redox results, you know, looking at the testimonials and thinking, whoa, whoa, <laughs> uh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing essentially, and I put it this way, literally my failures, I'm seeing results on all manner of dis-ease conditions, ill health conditions, that I'd struggled to, to, to make much of an impact on for many, many, many years in my clinic. And I'm thinking, whoa. And then I would, and then I thought, look, I better figure out what these redox molecules are. So I started to look at uh, the science and Dr. Gary Samuelson's book, The Science of Healing Revealed. Um, 
towards site. Uh, and I think, okay, okay, no wonder I'm not up with this because it, it really is uh, modern day medical science. Uh, and we all practice out of our past. I mean, I'm practicing out of what I was taught, and uh, I wasn't taught anything about reading signaling molecules. Um, and so I'm thinking, well, I need to, to get my head in more around this because it was starting to look like something special. I mean, 1998, Nobel Prize, nitric oxide, um, more discovered, you know, the exhaust oxidants from the Krebs cycle are no longer simply negative and bad. There were positives to do with redox signaling affecting the genes. And it was all just going, it was great. It was great. It was almost like my first journey back when I was 18 with a new discovery. I was like a kid in a candy shop. <laughs> so, so I'm going, whoa, that's good. Because obviously I wanted to believe those stories. Um, but I just had to get it, get it straight in my head. So that by the time that two weeks was up, I literally joined in July of 2018. The day that Lorene left, another friend arrived, who's Australian as well, from Melbourne, but she was coming back from Europe, Deidre. Uh, I said, Deidre, have a look at this. Because <laughs> I've known her, I was their best man when they got married. She went, well, I want that. <laughs> So literally, I joined one day. The next day, Deidre joined. Lorraine said, bye-bye, I'll see you later. A week later, I had my other good friend in Queensland that had joined, and so off I went. And um, the rest is history today, uh, just travelling the world and sharing it with as many people as possible. I came out of retirement for it, but I say I came out of retirement, and I still say I'm semi-retired, but... I mean, what is retirement after all? I mean, if you're really enjoying what you're doing, it's not work anyway. Uh, so I don't call this work, even though many would perhaps. That doesn't mean I'm not focused. I do, the, I do my daily method of operation. I contact people, I communicate, I do Zoom calls. And I've grown an amazing organisation around the world. Uh, one particular line came out of Phuket, and it's well established, and I think you said, you grew up in Pennsylvania? Is that what you said, Maureen? Well, that's where I've got a pretty big team going over there. Came out of a, a gentleman here who had uh, serious memory issues in his 70s that reversed in four months. So he took me to his daughter in Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, and, um, you know, that the rest is history over there. There's a great team with Lynn and Dan and a whole bunch of them all coming to the convention, by the way. And they were at the last convention. So, yeah, got a growing team over there. So after this convention next month, I'll be going back to those guys and doing a bit more work with them. So, And the last 16 years, for the benefit of the listeners in my practice life in Melbourne, Australia, I also lectured at the Australian College of Natural Medicine. And I was in the science department and I taught anatomy and physiology and pathophysiology. And I can tell you, we weren't talking about redox molecules. Uh, I had the PhD biochemists next to me, some brilliant guys, and, and they weren't teaching it either. So I think the, the, the bottom line of that discussion on that particular point is it's not surprising that most people, including health and medical professions, don't know about this. They weren't taught about it. You know, for a specialist like Maureen, you're not going to get there inside 15 years of training thoroughly. Uh, you know, so unless you you basically become a specialist or graduated in medicine in the last 15 years, this is going to be pretty, you know, in the last 15, you would have got information on redox. But prior to that, uh, you wouldn't have that much, in my opinion. So I hope that gives a little bit of information on my background and journey. Thanks. Yeah, you bring up a really good point. I think this is why so many people, when they take it to their doctors, if their doctors you know, are older, you know, I'm 62. You just said you're about to be 66. Yeah. So yeah, even that verbiage redox was not used. I mean, if somebody said we're talking reduction oxidation, it would have been like, well, okay, why, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, so interesting. Thank you for bringing that up. And sure. Hey, Hey Lee, real quick. Can you go ahead and do the do with the disclaimer? And then I want Dr. Ray to come back and explain how he explains what, because a lot of new people are going to be watching this, Dr. Ray, and, you know, people really don't know what we're talking about. We, we mentioned we throw the word out because we, we've been doing this for a while, but 
there's a lot of new people. We're starting to gain a lot of traction. And so, but Dr. Lee, can you uh, please go ahead and do the disclaimer? I'd be happy to. It's important that we realize this is a supplement. It's uh, regulated accordingly. And therefore we don't make any medical claims or we don't use this to treat or diagnose any uh, medical conditions. It is a supplement, it's a self-signaling supplement and we use it in that capacity. Well, Dr. Ray, how do you explain this? Well, the first comment, if I mind, because um, I think a lot of people also get confused why if we have something which is what I call the greatest health product that's ever been discovered, why doesn't it help anything? We can't name a disease. And I think you've made that point very clear. And for the benefit of the listeners, that's because we are dealing it in health. Uh, and it's well known that what promotes health will also help with any disease processes. So our focus is health. And this is a supplement of the most profound thing you could ever supplement with. I mean, these, uh, these molecules are made inside the mitochondria of every cell. And they're made in a very complex cycle where energy is produced called the Krebs cycle. And uh, the, the new discovery is not all of the redox molecules. It's that they are redox molecules, signaling molecules. Before that, a lot of them were just considered to be exhaust and bad oxidants and of no useful purpose at all. That's now completely disproven. And indeed, they're extraordinarily useful and extraordinarily important in genetic signaling, along with the reductants. So Maureen mentioned redox, reductants and oxidants. So the being a food supplement and registered as such, by law, you can't uh, name treating any disease process. And that goes for a lot of supplements, of course, nutritional supplements and herbal supplements, which, by the way, are called herbal medicines. So even though we try to avoid the, the use of the word medicine, it's just so as not to complicate the world in which we operate. So it is the greatest health supplement, in my opinion, that has ever been discovered. Uh, and how do I explain? Well, if redox signaling molecules are essential to the signaling processes of every cell in the human body, and they are, then that means they are fundamental to the functioning of cells the waste management of cells, the detoxification of cells, the rebuilding of cells uh, so that they are healthy. Well, of course, healthy cells means healthy you. Uh, every disease process, and it doesn't matter what that name is, is sick cells. So it's damaged cells that are malfunctioning. They're not functioning correctly. Now, everyone on the call, new or otherwise, is well aware that there are many signaling molecules in the body that have been known for a long time. We know about hormones, adrenaline, noradrenaline, pituitary hormones, hypothalamic hormones, thyroid hormones. Everyone's heard of hormones. We've all heard of neurotransmitters, you know, the mood enhancing dopamines and serotonins, et cetera. I would think most people now have heard of those. They're powerful signaling molecules, chemicals as well. But this happens to be the deepest signaling molecule ever discovered and the smallest. These are nano size, no more than four atoms. They cross through any, there is no barrier to these. So when you hear about you know, the skin, semi-permeable membrane, protective barrier, or cell membranes being semi-permeable, or the blood-brain barrier, there is no barrier to nano-sized redox signaling molecules. They're essential to every cell, and they're essential to the health of every cell, providing we get the right numbers, the right amount, and the right kind of balance between the reductants and the oxidants. And uh, Dr. Lee's books explain very, very well all of the redox molecules and all about that balance, that homeostasis is the, the physiological term for balance. Uh, so it's the balance that's critical. Uh, and this is the first time that we can supplement with bio-identical 
redox signaling molecules. They have never existed in a supplement before. And the next thought many people have, understandably, is why do I need to supplement with something my body makes? And we, science has known for a very long time, even before they didn't know about the importance of redox signaling, that mitochondrial density and efficiency decreases from peak puberty at the rate of approximately 1% per year, 10% per decade. These are trillions of molecules made every second of every minute of every hour of every day and are essential. Without them, we are dead. So if you're declining on average at the rate of 10% per decade, I'm 66. Let's say I peaked at puberty 15, 16. I would be making 50% less of these trillions of essential signaling molecules for healing. So I actually now believe that the main cause of aging and disease processes is a deficiency in redox molecules. Now, that doesn't mean that we do not consider healthy water, you know, healthy food, uh, clean air. Uh, in fact, putting redox signaling molecules as a supplement into the context of the rest of one's lifestyle is exactly the subject of a book that we're going to launch tonight. And that's Dr. Lee's Healthy Matters book, because that's exactly what he has done. He's educated us all in exactly what redox signaling molecules are with this book. Now, this was only launched, as I recollect, Dr. Lee, around August last year. <clears throat> For this gentleman to have been able to write another book called Healthy Matters within that time frame, putting this into the collective lifestyle, the redox lifestyle, is nothing short of extraordinary. Uh, I'm just astounded at what this man is capable of. I don't know how he finds the time. I really don't. I have enough trouble reviewing the book, let alone writing the book. <laughs> and uh, so, the, the overall context, I'm not saying that it's only a deficiency in redox molecules that causes disease. I'm saying it's the primary reason. But obviously, a lot of other disease processes are caused by other things the cells need. You know, there are essential nutrients that cells need. They need clean water. I'm a great fan of alkaline water. I mean, so... You know, it's, it, it's in its context, it is the most profound and it's the most fundamental. And there are many other signaling molecules in the body, which I don't normally spend too much time trying to explain to people because it just adds to a layer of confusion. I mean, people in the health professions well know, like Anne and Maureen and Lee, that, you know, there's others, endorphins and happy hormones and, you know, cytokines and leukotrienes and prostaglandins. And we can go on about signaling chemicals in the human body, but as the most fundamental affecting every cell in the human body, this is it. And so that's the sh that's that's slightly longer version than I normally share, but that's pretty much it. Well, I, I hope that everybody noticed the brilliance. Uh, you're just such a gifted communicator when you. When, uh, you know, it's like when uh, Ray Dixon speaks, everybody listens, like the old E.F. Hutton commercials. But uh, you, have a, you have a very articulate way of, of stating, you know, the base science without making it go five levels into the, into the foundation um, as it relates to real life. So I appreciate that insight that you have. Well, another reason for that, Lee, is um, I was also going to say it's quite interesting that I, we've both been lecturers at, at university level and I think that helps a lot with communication skills you need to be able to get messages across but it's been rather funny for me in some ways that and it happened when I reviewed your redox matters book and it's happened again as I've uh, reviewed the healthy matters book sometimes I'll get to a page and I think what is Dr Lee why is he going so far down this rabbit hole it's like <laughs> and then I and then I would say I'd send off a message you need to explain this autophagy a bit more. <laughs> and then two pages later, 
there's all this extrapolation of pages of information on what I was just thinking. You need to explain this. So he's already done it. But I'm just so impatient that I'm jumping in. And, and I've, I've had to slowly learn to be a little more hesitant, just wait to see if he covers it in a couple of pages because he invariably does. <laughs> so uh, thank you for your kind words, Dr. Lee, but I think uh, maybe I could do it verbally to a point, but I certainly don't go down those rabbit holes as far as you do. And in the written form, I actually did say uh, in reviewing your first book that you're extraordinarily eloquent and poetic in your communication skills written because these are written in books. And I, I just, uh, just am astounded by it, actually. I would love to be able to write like you. Uh, it really is, uh, if I was ever to write a book, it I, I just wouldn't even attempt it because if I was going to write anything, and I always said it has to be something new and it has to be something that the rest of the world's not writing about or knows too much about, and the only thing that I know that is relatively new is redox signaling molecules. And you've already done what I would even dream remotely of attempting. So I won't be writing any more. <laughs> well, well, thank you. You're very kind. <laughs> okay. Um, let's come back down to my level. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not the doctor. Ian's got the nutrition degree. I'm looking at the bottle, Dr. Ray. Yeah. And yeah. it says it's a dietary supplement. Mm -hmm. And then I turn it around and it goes ingredients, water and sodium chloride. Yep. Now, I don't have the knowledge that you all have. Could you please explain why is it a dietary supplement made from salt water and say it to where the people out here that don't have the medical background can understand it? Well, my, my way of doing this is saying, well, they're made from salt water. Uh, that's the first point. The redox signaling molecules are made from sodium chloride, hydrogen and oxygen, and some with nitrogen. Nitrogen we breathe, so there's no lack of nitrogen. Um, and that's what they're made from. So as much as it sounds trite, I think it's also important to note that your body's full of salt water. Uh, your cells are full of salt water. Your blood is full of salt water. That's why they give you saline. I mean, so you are full of salt water. Um, and indeed, if you didn't have salt water, you'd be dead. So let's just start there. Salt water in itself is essential to human life. Secondarily, we now know these amazing redox signaling molecules, all scientifically delineated, clearly stated, we know are made from salt water in the Krebs cycle. So it may say on the bottle, one food supplement, let's just pause there for a second. Uh, it, it was in and on route to become a pharmaceutical. It may well have ended up a drug. It was certainly going down that avenue. Um, and you can't call, if you register it as a food supplement, you've entered a completely different realm based on the laws of the land. Now, I should also remind people, laws of the land are not necessarily good laws. Uh, there's all manner of bad laws. Um, and I can tell you, there's a lot of bad laws around health because what promotes health, which is what we're all about, uh, even those who have crossed the fence, like Maureen has come across from the dark side. <laughs> you know, a, and, of course, Dr. Lee has led the way for a long time integratively in terms of oral systemic health. I mean... A lot of laws are built around the belief systems of sickness. They're not built around belief systems of health. And of course, we are now shifting that paradigm because it's wrong. It's actually incorrect thinking and it's mistaken thinking, but there's laws around that. So you can't refer to a food supplement as a pharmaceutical product by law. It doesn't mean it's not very powerful. It doesn't mean that it won't help cells to dramatically function better and for all many of your signs and symptoms to disappear. It doesn't mean that. But people think it does. They think if you can't make a medical claim, then it's not a medical product and therefore it can't heal anything. It's not a medication. Look up the definition of medication. The first thing that'll come up in your face in the first paragraph is drugs, drugs, drugs and drugs. 
Uh, I'm not aware of a deficiency in Valium. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so these, these drug medications, they're not supplements. So let's learn the difference. We're, on, we're talking health and we're talking the primary uh, fundamentals of being healthy. If you're healthy, by definition, you're not sick. You don't have diseases. So the salt water, Jim, is what they're made from. Redox molecules are made from salt water. If you put on the label, and it does have bioagilitic certified to contain redox signaling molecules, which is independent, but quite frankly, if you put redox signaling molecules on there, do you think people would know what they are? No. I, don't, I mean, most practitioners don't. Uh, some would know a couple. So really, uh, you know, and that's why, by the way, that answers really another issue that I know you're going to ask, Jim, and that is, well, why direct marketing? Why it isn't on the pharmacy shelf? Right. You know, what pharmacy <clears throat> shelf? some do i guess but and that's because no one exactly like you said will pick up this bottle read salt water and think right i'll buy a bottle for 50 bucks that's good they're not going to do that so so it needs to be explained a little and then obviously when we're sharing through mediums like this or even a close more closely knit mediums of a few people, people can share their stories. They can share their results. And that <clears throat> automatically set the course of how this was best shared around the world. And that was through direct marketing, word of mouth marketing, right. uh, people sharing their results, their stories. Um, now, I think every way of marketing comes with its difficulties. I think our greatest difficulty, <clears throat> which is enthralling for me, is um, I came out of retirement after 40 years of working with hundreds of herbs, hundreds of homeopathic medicines, hundreds of supplements because of how good this is. Mm. And <clears throat> it's not easy to convince people because they're inevitably in the world in which we live a little sceptical. And if they that their doctor hasn't mentioned it and they can't get it in the local hospital, they are even more sceptical. Right. Um, and yet it's true. We actually have the greatest health product that has ever existed, in my opinion. <laughs> hey, in real quick, um, can you just, because I know we have, we're in the United States, you're in Thailand, but there's a lot of people all over the world that they don't have a lot of the labeling that we have here. Why is that? But that's <clears throat> rules and regulations of different countries. Okay. It's, just, it's like supplements as well, Jim, with the VIA range and exciting new supplements coming out in the VIA range next month. You know, there's always going to be, <clears throat> and it, it, it's applied to many of my practitioner available only supplements for years. Some you could get in the US with metagenics, you couldn't get in Australia, et cetera. And they have to manipulate ingredients to get through it's basically the varying FDAs of every country is different. Okay. Uh, okay. DG in Australia, and they set the rules and regs. And, you know, the other thing I might add, if I might, Jim, please, is uh -huh. if, if you're going to start trying to explain to TGAs and FDAs redox signaling molecules, well, you know, they've got their own PhDs, but let me tell you, they don't all understand redox signaling molecules. And, yeah. in fact, when I visited the plant in Utah, with Scott um, in September after Nashville, um, I was very honoured and privileged to have the grand tour one-on-one. -on -one. And, um, it, you know, the FDA had just been and certified the okay. manufacturer. So he was full of that because it had just happened. And they were so impressed at, and some of the PhDs, one in particular I remember Scott mentioned, was enthralled about these redox signalling molecules because they were very interested in what was being done. But remember, that's a certification of the standards of the plant. It's not certifying the product as a medicine because it isn't with the FDA right. because it's a food supplement. 
But, you know, I think there's, there's a major shift underway in the world in terms of paradigm shifts about real health and real healing as opposed to the treatment of sickness and disease. It's not the end game and it's not the beginning of that journey. That journey has been going on for hundreds of years. Um, you can go right back to Bichamp and Pasteur and the germ theory and other theories of your environment in your body is more susceptible to why you get sick as opposed to the germ is why you get sick. This debate has been raging for a very long time uh, and we're getting closer to the truth. Mm. And truth from the natural healing perspective uh, has never denied germs, obviously, but it's always placed the emphasis on what makes you healthy comes first and use the natural things that the body has evolved to work with, be that healthy foods or herbal plant medications, etc., to keep or get healthy, um, as opposed to the, the great revolution occurred with antibiotics, of course, to treat germs which killed so many masses of people and were so miraculous that it kind of shifted the whole paradigm into the medical pharmaceutical model. Understandably, I, I understand it, but now you're getting a, a major correction taking place uh, with more and more people realising that, you know, the diet and food and supplements, nutritional supplements, and now being able to supplement with redox signaling molecules and exercise, et cetera, these are all the most important to, to be healthy and to get healthy if you're sick. And once again, that is the full context, in my view, um, uh, that Dr. Lee's explained in Healthy Matters. I couldn't agree more. You can see we are other brothers from the other side of the world. <laughs> hey, Dr. Ray, let, me, let me ask something. Um, well, first of all, I was thinking about when you were talking about that, you know, Dr. Lee explains it beautifully by saying that we're turning on the inner doctor, which I really think we are with the redox molecules, but we're also talking about this being a food supplement and yet it has no nutritional value. You know, can Correct. you speak to that just a little well, bit? Yeah. Great question. Great question. Um, again, guys, you only have a language for something that's existed. If it's new, you can't just steal from the old language. So just remember, supplement is traditional, and this is what Maureen's speaking to. A supplement traditionally is referring to a nutritional supplement where you are supplementing with something that normally comes in foods, but you're concentrating it and you're supplementing with it in a tablet or a powdered capsule or whatever the case may be. So supplement as a definitional word is you're adding to your otherwise intake or not in your diet. It is supplemental to what else you stick in your mouth. This is unique. And that's why some might have noticed I also called it a bioreplenishment formula. That's the new term because the body normally makes redox molecules. We just don't make enough. If you're over peak healthy puberty, you're deficient. Now, again, that's another term that comes from nutrition, but it's still equally applicable. If you don't have enough of something, well, the most logical word is deficient. Um, so we are all deficient unless you're peak puberty, super healthy uh, in redox molecules. But because they're natively produced inside the human body, this is where the conflict with a food supplement comes in. Uh, I still do use the word supplement, but it's more as a, because when I'm talking to people in general, I just want them to get the message, get, get the important key points. So you are supplementing redox molecules, but Maureen is 100% correct. It is not a nutritional product. You don't find redox signaling molecules in supplements. Uh, so it, ordinarily, <laughs> again, so that's me even crossing the same, the same territory. So I think uh, I've noticed with Dr. Lee and others that we, we tend to use the word bioreplenishment 
supplement to try and clarify that a little bit more. So great question, Maureen. I hope that helps. Yeah, that was great. Two things. So maybe you can talk about your own journey as far as did, you know, back in 18, did you start on four ounces? Did you graduate as you've gotten older to a uh, higher dose? You know, I think it's important. Some people, they're fine with the maintenance and they're fine with four ounces, but sometimes people need extra. And even in our, in our labs, they did extra eight ounces. I know Jim started first day, eight ounces. Great question, Anne, and I can see Jim looking at you as to how could he have possibly started this when he was 18. And is, is how 18 is in 2018. <laughs> he should have known, I'm sure. Actually, uh, I started in July 2018. Mm -hmm. Now, there's two sides to your question, which are great questions, guys. There's two sides to that. There's the recommended starting dose is, is two ounces for you guys, 60 mil twice a day. And then there's how much do you really need based on you individually. So I started, I was not sick. I, I was very healthy. When I'm on our 66, I was a very healthy 62 year old, quite honestly. I was on no drug medications whatsoever. My blood pressure was 120, I had no hypercholesterolemia. I had none of the usual stuff that were all drugged up to the eyeballs on at 60. <laughs> and um, so I had plenty of energy and I slept well. Yeah. So... I figured, okay, well, I'll start on the two a day, but not for long because I'm a little bit reckless uh, and I'm also a practitioner, so I know about detox and health. And So I then very quickly went to four, probably within days. Now, I don't recommend that to everyone on the call. I'll come back to that, but that's what I did because I'm answering your question. I went to four within days. The first night I slept like I went to Mars. I thought I, thought I slept well before, but I'd get up and pee a couple of times a night, but I, it was like... What happened there? I don't know what happened. I've never slept like that. I, I've never slept like that in my life. It was like a very deep REM. You know, I was I was long gone. I was I was not here. And as we all know on this call, that's when you heal a lot. Uh, the third day in, I noticed some sensations around my lungs. Now it's interesting to note I have a lung history, but I never had any obvious problems at that time and hadn't had for years. But I could feel some shifting around my lungs, a sense of years ago when bronchitis was coming on or my asthma was getting worse, and that was many years ago. I knew what that was, and a day later it was gone. And so from four cups, I now work between four and six, uh, three and a half to four years this July I've been on it. Um, and that's because I'm in serious health and prevention mode. Uh, I'm not going to get... Uh, dementia i'm not going to get rogue cell conditions i'm just not even though they're in my family and so i am supplementing with the bio replenishment formula to maximize my susceptibility to the normal deterioration and decline with age so i land between probably five and six cups every single day the second part of the question and which again is brilliant is how much does everyone on the call need? Mm -hmm. Well, my first answer to that is you're all unique. Mm -hmm. You are completely unique. Now, we have certain guidelines about age because we're more deficient. And we, ha and we have certain guidelines about how much you might need if you're sick because the sicker you are, the more you need. So the first point I'm going to make here is this is not a question of will this work for me. That is a totally mistaken question based on a mistaken understanding of what this is. We all live on these molecules. So everybody needs these molecules and everybody will benefit from taking these molecules, period, everybody. It then comes down to getting enough and getting it for long enough. So the enough, you know, even... I at 62, not sick at all, obviously speaking, went to four cups very quickly. So I'm going to say that um, if you're a superman, superwoman, 22-year-old, you know, two or three cups a day is going to do just fine. Uh, but if you want to win the next competition you're in, I'll be taking a lot more than that because you need to heal quicker, train more, train harder, to get better. 
Um, but if you're, a, you know, as you move up in age with all manner of dis-ease, sickness conditions, the more you need. Now, I always, and I teach it exactly like this, and I say, look, the whole bottle a day is your maximum and two of those is your minimum. And I teach my team. So when you're sharing this with someone, after teaching them the older you are, the more you need, and the sicker you are, the more you need. So I teach my team, you tell me what they need, and then I'll tell you what I need. Because I want them to understand. And there, there's your maximum, 16 of those, and two of those is your minimum in terms of adults, teenage adults. And then I say, what do you think? And my team will work out what they think, and they're getting pretty good at it, I must say. Um, you know, I, I get a very, I suppose there's a little bit of practitioner intu intuition here as well, but remember I've worked with supplements my whole life. And so I can pretty quickly guide for people. If you're not getting results, and Dr. David Silverman, Maureen, you say the same, Dr. Lee says the same, we all say the same. If you're not seeing much in a few weeks, double the dose, just double the dose. It is perfectly safe. There is no toxicity. There is no allergenicity. Any excess goes back to salt water. It is 100% safe. So wouldn't you rather take an extra two cups, pay an extra dollar or two, and get your magic? Yeah, of course. I love that. And just okay. to clarify, uh, Dr. Ray, when you're talking about cups, you're talking about the two-ounce cup. Yeah, not right. the eight-ounce measure. No, no, no. Two this, is, this, this is the ASEA cup, guys. It comes in the cup. Yes. You're right. You need to be very careful with words. So it's it's the plastic cup, 60 mil, two ounces. We I'm referring to as the ASEA cup. This right here, 100. Uh, so I I've found uh, many many times that just shifting the dose slightly, results can shift dramatically. So please, everyone, three to four months minimum. Do not judge it in one or two weeks. Three to four months minimum, you will see the magic. Then you will really experience the life-changing benefits that will come. Um, and you won't leave because, and that's another question I can preempt from you guys, and that is, you know, when I'm well, can I stop it? Well, of course, guys, remember, it's supplementing, bio-replenishing a deficiency you have um, uh, through no fault of yours because this isn't diet. So if you have acquired some great benefits and you stop using it, well, you won't deteriorate rapidly, but you will go back into not having enough of them. And some of the likely conditions you had will start to raise their head again. They'll start to come back. But you can very often go to a lesser amount. So if you found... Uh, you know, you were taking six to eight, for example, of these cups a day. Uh, you might find in six months you can take two or three cups a day and be perfectly well. But this is something that is experimental for you. You need to find your sweet spot because we are all different. And there's reasons. It's not just genetic. It's how's your day? How are you sleeping? How's your anxiety level? What's your stress levels like? You know, how do you think? Are you a positive person or, 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 or a negative person? All that affects redox molecules. Exactly. So, how many chemicals are you ingesting? You know, how, how many, uh, you know, food dyes and preservatives? And, you know, there was just a little article in the newspaper the other day here, you know, that people have been poisoned with added nitrates in sausages, you know. That sort of thing I see all the time. There's a lot of abuse of insecticides and pesticides and preservatives added to foods. Uh, all that affects redox molecules. Yes. And then you incorporate the Renew 28, I'm sure, um, from day one. Do you use that uh, two or three times a day? I don't separate these two. To yeah. me, they're like two wings on a bird. If you have yeah. one wing, you go around in circles. I, I, I don't separate them. To me, they're just <laughs> Maureen's laughing. They're just totally, they're just totally different delivery systems. Just totally and the, and more, 
Yeah. And more effective, uh, the Renew, I mean, you can see it so quickly on some certain circumstances. But y'all in Australia started with Renew and then you got the liquid, correct? As you're drinking water. <laughs> That's 100 percent. But that I remember, I'm in Thailand now. And, well, it's right. exact, and it's exactly the same now in Thailand. We do not have the drink. Ah, I have, OK. I bring this in from elsewhere. Uh, I didn't know that. Uh, so uh, we only have the gel and the skin care. Uh, and by the way, everyone, what, what, what I think Anne meant about you can, it works better and you can see it, of course you can see the visible results because if you're putting it on your skin, uh, it, then your skin cells will renew. That's what Renew 28 refers to, skin cells renewing in 28 days, like when you were 21. And so you can visually see dramatic effects on burns and insect bites and skin inflammatory conditions and, um, uh, and good looks. So you can see it. Um, but this will do on the inside just as much as this will do on the outside. And then having said that, outside in, inside out, some of this will end up in the bloodstream. Uh, if you put it over pulse points like your carotid arteries or your radial artery at your wrist where you can feel your pulse, a lot of those molecules will enter the blood and then they'll go to your inner doctor. Uh, mm. And that inner doctor has its own priority scale in terms of healing. And we were taught in natural healing that, you know, certain the vital organs come first, so brain and spinal cord, Vital organs come first, others come second, skin, hair and nails come last. You can know and shift that a little bit by putting this on your skin, hair and nails. You see, because yeah. you're, you're delivering the molecules in a concentrated way directly to those areas that if you were only taking this, wouldn't get that priority. Uh, so we can almost work with nature a little bit by using mm -hmm. both. I never separate them. I always recommend using both, always. All right, we've got four minutes, and I want to cover something really quick because something you said, Dr. Ray, is um, we lose, we start to lose these molecules at puberty, but yet we're seeing a lot of children that are having health issues. Can you explain that, please? <clears throat> well, actually, the one clarification that I always make is you reach peak production at healthy puberty. And my next clarification automatically is if you are a sick child, then you you already require more. You already don't have enough. In other words, you need mm -hmm. to. Uh, okay. and, and if I can just add to what Maureen said there, guys. Now, I understand this is an international Zoom call. We have people all over the world. And, and I fully understand that we can't sort of talk about medical issues and medical equipment. But, you know, parts of the world you can buy what we were referring to on the internet. I did here in Thailand. It's not an issue. So I understand that, you know, we, we're not in any way, guys. And I think the audience at the end of this call are already well aware why we have to do this. It's because we're working in, in conflicting times with laws. Um, but uh, so thanks for that, Maureen, and I actually yeah. appreciate it. Uh, yeah, yeah, so did that answer the question, Jim? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got one, one last one real quick. I'm sorry, but um, nothing works on everything, but yet we say this does. This works on well, everything okay. alive. That's very difficult for people to believe that there's one breakthrough that works on plants, animals, and humans. Correct. Well, that's because it's a new discovery. So once again, those people who don't believe it are thinking out of the past. They're thinking out of the medical model. Uh, as Dr. Lee explains extremely well in Redox Matters, this is the most upstream product, chemical, if you like, that's ever been discovered that works at the coalface. Everything else flows downstream from that. All other biochemical actions are downstream from the profound effects on the genes and the DNA that come from redox signaling molecules. So I'm actually going to reiterate the point. Yes, it works on everything. Everything. We're, tra we're talking healthy cells. If you have healthy cells, there is no sickness. All sickness is disease cells. 
And that's a really good uh, differentiation point because the expectation or the paradigm, the worldview, the understanding that we all have has been shaped in our modern age with a pill or drug mentality, a pharmaceutical thing where I, I can take a agent, a medication that has an action on a receptor site that has a specific action. And when I take this pill, it makes me feel better in 30 minutes because it's, there's an action. And that is not what this is. And so when people take this, they drink this, and I wait for an hour and think, well, I don't feel different, you know, mm -hmm. uh, or at least the way they think they should. Then they just categorically say, well, well <clears throat> this didn't work. Well, and, and it goes back to redefining that whole paradigm, which you've done brilliantly, that this is natural healing. I, I like to use the word natural law. In our day and age, we haven't really discovered too many new natural laws. And this is, you know, redox and redox signaling, at least in the health environment, is as close as you can get to a new natural law. We're, we're not deriving anything else. This is a whole new category. And that's why we have to think differently. I just really appreciate your, your the way you um, language and message that. It's very brilliant. Well, yeah. what you it was equally brilliantly, it, 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 and that's where if you get, and that's the beauty of the CFI guys in the world. That's why we all come every week and watch this, because there's a lot of ways to explain something, and and what will get the message across to one person um, may not to someone else, but another person expressing it their way. I, I get that now. So mm -hmm. I mean. It is extraordinary, and for everyone on the call, don't miss the opportunity to completely change your life on this product because it will happen. You just need enough for long enough, and then your family will benefit, and that is exactly how we share this message and product around the world, changing lives every day. It's very exciting for me. It's very rewarding for me, and I'll see all you guys next month in Las, in the Las Vegas. Never been yes. there before. Wouldn't that be fun? Hey. That's well, great. I love the way you you say this, and I love with your background, um, as many degrees as you you have, and as much experience as you've had, you know, in natural healing and supplementation, and all for you to actually put this in the forefront and say that this comes before everything else. That's saying a lot. That's really oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for coming on and so exciting. So yeah. You know, with this being a gift to humanity, and, and Ray, you said it great, the only way to share this is via word of mouth. And the impact that we can have um, sharing this word of mouth can reach the entire globe in a very short period of time. And we don't do any kind of advertising. We are the advertising budget. Yeah. You know, and having someone like you come on and help us get this message out, we just are in great gratitude to you. And I uh, just want to thank you for your time. And just so you all know, we have Russell Mariani uh, will be on next week. He is also, like Dr. Ray, a, a fan favorite. Um, the but gut, um, the, gut guy. the gut guy and the water guy. So, um, Maureen, okay. Lee, Ray, anything loud you want to add on real quick before we Let's... go to the uh, the chat time after the, the after call call? Oh, this, is, this is our this is the official announcement uh, we've been waiting for this uh, for a few weeks i appreciate dr ray's uh, patience in helping me proof it but it is now up it's available it's at redoxmatters.com and we will uh, if the shipping uh, processes work well we'll have a quantity in las vegas but i'd be uh, happy to interact with everybody who comes to the meeting or if not otherwise in fact this is also going to be uh, in indianapolis in Orlando, I think this weekend. So, wow. That's and if just I can, to let y'all know, go ahead, Lee or Ray. If I can just say, guys, as much as the redox signaling molecule is the greatest supplement that's ever been available ever, the that makes the two books which Dr. Lee has written the greatest books ever written to help you to attain maximum health ever written. Doesn't matter who wrote them, because redox is at the forefront. And no one has written the redox story as well as Dr. Lee. And to then put it in the full context of lifestyle, it's never been done before. So the fact is, by definition, these are the greatest natural health healing books ever written. Oh, thank you. Wow. Exciting. Well, and we will have Dr. Osler as our guest on 
April the 8th. So right before convention, right before Good Friday. Uh, so again, we have Russell Mariani next week. We have Donna Lynn Dominguez, our midwife. Uh, and then Dr. Osler will be our guest where he will go into great detail about healthy matters. But again, go to redoxmatters.com. And that's also where we do storehouse uh, because of Dr. Osler. We now have the, the five videos are there on redoxmatters.com. So uh, Maureen? It's exciting. Why Don't are you smiling it. so much? You've been <laughs> drinking something. I, I, well, you know what? I, since we're in the after hours. Yes. Not yet. I haven't, we haven't shut down yet. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> right, I think so, I'm allowed okay. to talk about it anyway. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's delicious. What is that? What is that? One of the new what? products. This one is actually mine because I'd already had my energy and my mood. You guys, this and I don't know how much of each one we could drink a day. You know? They, <laughs> they, they say you can have all three in a day. So yeah, but can you have all six in a day? Or oh, not? I don't know. I, I mean, haven't tried all six. They're really and, good. <laughs> they're really good. And, and we do need to add the caveat that I'm not sure exactly. I think we're in the U.S. and Canada. We'll have access to the um, the new products, which. Yeah, it's called yep. uh, self performance, self performance, energy, powered by Rita. mind and mood. Uh, it will be going out to the world, I'm sure, at some point in time. But let me go ahead and shut down the recording. Uh, Lee Osler, thank you. Thank Dr. You Ray Dixon, you're looking awesome. forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. And yep. Maureen, you're the best. Yep. So, Thanks guys, we, us. this is how we share the gift of Redox to the world. Please use this as a platform to invite other people that need to hear the gift. They're not going to hear it anywhere else, but through someone else that loves you and cares about you, they will share it. So guys, thank you so much. Hold on. Thanks, everyone.